In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful letterhead. I'll show you how to insert your logo and also use shapes to get all these shapes. You can see it right here. And finally, insert text boxes for the recipient address, date, and then the body of the letter. If you want to make this letterhead, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So in this video, we are going to make this beautiful letterhead for our business. That said, let's get started. Having launched Word, I first of all insert my logo by going to insert pictures then this device i locate my logo on the desktop then logo i grab this logo it is inserted but with this it will be difficult to move it from one location to the other so to be able to move it i select the logo then I go to format under picture tools, then wrap text, I choose in front of text. So I can now move my logo from one location to another. So I will place it right here. Okay. Next, I insert a text box by going to insert text box. I can decide to insert the simple text box. But I'll just go ahead and draw my own text box. So I draw it right here. Okay. So I have location and an abbreviated form. Perfect. And I will bold the labels. Bold. Highlight email. Bold. And I want to reduce the line spacing. So I highlight everything. Go to home. Line spacing. I go to line spacing options. Then I change after to zero. And then okay perfect now I can reduce the height of the text box I'll place it right here perfect I don't need the outline of the text box so I go to format and the drawing tools shape outline no outline maybe I can remove the feel defaultly to have a white feel Maybe if you type there is something around here, the white field will not obstruct it. Next, I want to rule a line to separate the logo and the main body of my letterhead. Now I'll go to insert shapes. Now grab line. I draw it right here. If I want to get a perfect straight line, hold down shift key on the keyboard right there i release the mouse i want to take it up a bit perfect i actually want to align it in the middle if i cannot use my eyes well i can go to align then align center so it is now in the middle of the paper now i want to increase the weight of the line so i select it go back to format and shape outline i make it one and a half and i want to bring it down a bit i want to draw another thick line but before i do that i'll change the color to gold now go back to insert shapes line now draw 
a new line down here holding down shift to get a straight line right there I release I change the color to gold gold is active here I will change the weight to four and a half and I'll take it right up okay perfect next I insert a shape I'm going to shapes I'll grab rectangle I want to draw a rectangle here right there I want it to be in line with this line here and I'm sure it's in line okay I'll change the feel to gold and then the outline to gold so that everything will be uniform perfect next I go down to the footer section to insert my footer so I go to insert shapes and I choose this shape right here pentagon I draw it right there Okay, about this size perfect I go to shape fill choose this color and then shape outline no outline I will duplicate it it is selected by pressing ctrl D on the keyboard I place it right back and I go to shape fill and I choose this color right here but then I will need to send it behind the first shape. The one on top is selected. I go to send backwards. Now I use the arrow key to move it towards the right direction. About this, I duplicate it again, Control D, and I place it right back. Then I take it backwards, backwards again. Then shape feel. I choose this. Okay. Let me move it a bit. Perfect. And then I duplicate it one last time. I place it back up. Send to back. Send to back again. And then shape feel. And I go for this. I think it has not gone back, sent to back, okay. I will just hide it right there. Perfect. I've gotten my footer. I'll go back up. I'll go and grab a text box. Then I'll draw a text box right here for the recipient address. Two in caps, enter. I hold this. Now I want to duplicate the text box, so I'll select it and Control D key on the keyboard. I'll hold it up here and place it right on the first one, and I'll move it to the right side of my document. I will highlight everything in here and I will type dates, colon, space, 4th April 2021. But I don't need the date bold, so I will highlight it, click on bold. Now I'll reduce the height of the text box and I will align it to right. Perfect. I don't need the outline, so the text box is selected. I go to format and the drawing tools shape outline no outline i do the same thing in here no outline is still active i just click on it right there and i'll reduce the height of this text box too next i insert the final text box text box draw text box 
click right here i want it to be in line with the first one and i go down to here i need enough space maybe my letter will be long in future i will zoom out okay i don't need the outline so i'll go to shape outline no outline and i'll just grab a random text your sincere play comma enter twice and i'll say deco pages ceo i'll click right here for electronic signature so i'll just repeat deco sorry deco pages then I'll highlight it, go to home, and I'll change the font to a signature like font. What this one do? Or oh, maybe this. Okay. And I'll increase the size. Alright. So this is my electronic signature. And my letterhead is set. So I can always click in here to remove what I have here to insert a new address or click here to insert a new date. Likewise, I can delete the whole of this and enter the body of my letter. So I will zoom out to see the entire document. Okay, this is about right. And my letter head is complete. So this is yet another letterhead design. You can pick this letterhead design and change your own colors and make it your own. I hope you found value. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel just like this one, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and we will talk soon.